Yeah, so hello guys, welcome back to another edition of Sports Update Ghana. My name is Joseph Adamafio and with the Black Stars players set to arrive on Monday ahead of their upcoming friendly matches, it appears that there is some form of issues with the squad that Coach Otuadu has named. Apparently, it appears that two players are not Ghanaian citizens. One of them has switched nationalities and one of them is not even a Ghanaian at all. But Coach Otuadu has named them in the squad for the upcoming friendlies and I'm here to give you up to speed on it and when the Black Stars are expected to arrive in Ghana and a little bit of the itinerary before they take on Nigeria and also Uganda in the friendly matches. If you are ready, I'm also ready but before that, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. So let's get right into it and let me start off with when the Black Stars players are expected to arrive. Well, ahead of the games against Nigeria and Uganda, the Black Stars players are expected to start arriving in the country on Monday 18th of March 2024. The players who are taking on uh, their final games in Europe are expected to flying into Ghana and some players from other parts of the world are expected to fly into Ghana. So Monday, some players are expected to arrive and hopefully they'll have their first training session with Coach Otto Ado. It appears that uh, not all the players will be in Ghana on Monday but uh, a fraction of the players are expected to arrive on Monday because some players uh, were in action on Saturday and they will be able to travel to Ghana uh, on Sunday then on Monday maybe they would have arrived but some players might end up arriving on Tuesday so that is the latest itinerary for the Blasters they will be playing their game in Morocco so hopefully by Tuesday or on Wednesday they will travel to Marrakesh in Morocco to get themselves ready for the upcoming two friendly matches all the two friendly matches which is on 22nd against Nigeria and 26th against um, Uganda will all be played in Marrakesh in Morocco. So I told you in my previous videos that Ghana is playing the matches in Morocco because we want to acclimatize to the 2025 AFCON which will be hosted in Morocco. So most of the matches within this period will be played in Morocco except for the World Cup qualifiers and the AFCON qualifiers. Now, since we are done with that, let me talk to you about the Blaster squad named by Coach Utuado and the issues in there. So it appears that some two players are not Ghanaian nationals or some of them are Ghanaian nationals but they switched nationalities hence uh, it would be very surprising to see them in Ghana squad for the upcoming friendlies. One, the first player we have here is David Akologo. David Akologo is a goalkeeper who plays his trade in Bolivia for Aurora. Now for David Akologo, one of the issues we have here is that the goalkeeper is a Ghanaian but he has switched nationalities from Ghana to Bolivia. He's currently 27 years of age and used to play straight in the Nigerian league. However, he didn't get called up into Ghana's national teams and ended up going to abroad. Since moving to Europe, as we would say, well, the goalkeeper has been doing really well and has caught the attention of Bolivia who have given him the opportunity to switch nationalities and the player has switched nationalities and here is the case that Bolivia have an upcoming friendly match against Algeria and Andorra hence the player has been named in Bolivia's upcoming friendly matches in March that is the same period that Ghana is also playing Nigeria and Uganda and guess what coach Utuado has named the player in his squad it appears that David Akologo has even started training with the Bolivian national team. I can't understand this at all. How can we name a goalkeeper who has switched nationalities in our team? Is it that David Akoloko has made a U-turn that is not going to play for Bolivia anymore? Or is the case that, well, we didn't know, so we just named him in the squad. That is where people are saying that Coach Otoado rushed in naming Ghana squad. For me, I heard that Coach Otoado named Ghana squad as far back as Wednesday, last week Wednesday, that a coach has been appointed. The players in England, that is why I have a few friends in the Blasters, have gotten an invitation, but they didn't know who was going to be the head coach of the Blasters. But as usual, the GFA has someone who communicates with the players at their clubs that, hey, you've been invited. So tell your club to uh, give you the permit to come and play for the Blasters. So as far back as Wednesday, Coach Otuado named his squad, but the GFA did not tell us who was going to be the coach. And the players also didn't have an idea who was going to be the coach. So 
when it comes to the blasters there's someone who makes the calls to them and sends them emails to be sent to their clubs that hey you've been invited you've not been invited and all that so the players they didn't know now david akulugu has been invited and we are asking will he leave bolivia to come and play for the blasters or it was an error well coach otoado will give us that explanation when the team starts trading and out of the game i'm sure if david akulugu doesn't join the blasters there will be some issues that he has to explain but david agologo is one of the experienced goalkeepers we have richard ofuri i don't think he's returning to the blasters for any moment from now and i think that david agologo maybe will become the nigerian goalkeeper we saw at the um afcon that did very well we didn't know where he popped up from and he's been doing very well now the second player we have is mohammed dia diomandi Mohamed Diomandi. Now, Mohamed Diomandi has also been named in Ghana's squad for the upcoming friendlies against Nigeria and Uganda. Now, the issue is that Mohamed Diomandi happens to be an Ivorian citizen, but he played for Right to Dream in Ghana, so he has been mistaken as a Ghanaian and has been named in Ghana's squad for the upcoming friendly matches. Now, Mohamed Diomandi. In March 2023, this was last year, exactly last year by this time, was named in Ivory Coast squad for their under-23 team. So how come Mohamed Diomonde, just last year was playing for Ivory Coast, has now been named in Ghana squad? Is it that the player has agreed to switch nationalities from Ivory Coast to Ghana? Well, we don't know, but Mohamed Diomonde is one of the skillful players we have at the moment. And the youngster plays for FC Nordjylland and hopefully we can get him to play for Ghana if he switched nationalities because we lost one of our players to Ivory Coast and he helped them win the um, AFCON tournament the one who plays for um, Brighton I always uh, forget his name but I'm sure I'll put his picture and name over there and Charlie <laughs> I think that if you are going to get into switch nationalities it's fine but I don't want it to happen that we disgrace ourselves that we didn't know he wasn't Ghanaian and we named him in the squad so yes these are the few issues that we have with the blaster squad and I'm also learning that Asante Kotoko's goalkeeper that is Frederick Asari only got to know that he has been named in Ghana's squad just this morning according to Clayton one of the uh, creditable guys on X he said that <laughs> Frederick Asai was asleep and his friend woke him up to inform him that boy you've been named in Ghana squad for the upcoming friendly matches and he didn't even know and I think that these are some of the stories we get to hear and gives us goosebumps and as I'm speaking Stephen giving me goosebumps and Charlie these are the things we want to hear but Frederick Asai I think Charlie, you have to step up. You have to step up. The things you've been doing for us, I think it's called Charlie. We've seen the likes of uh, Felix. Uh, Anan and all that play for the uh, Asante Kotoko. So, Charlie, I think you have to step up and to cement your place in the national team and get to abroad, Charlie. It's not an easy task, and I know that you can do it. So, Charlie, go there and smash it. Don't become a bench warmer. I know you have what it takes to be one of the best goalkeepers we have in the national team. So, these are the little issues with the blasters that I wanted to share with you. Share your thoughts in the comment section. But please subscribe. Let's grow the community. And yeah, that will be it for this episode of Sports Update Ghana. I'll catch you in the next one. My name is Joseph Adamafio. Please subscribe, and I'm out.